Today on DIY with Designer Co, we're going to be making a very sweet set of hairpins that look and feel vintage. For today's hairpin DIY, you're going to need some tools and some supplies, a pair of wire cutters, a pair of needle nose pliers, a set of bobby pins, some structural wire, and some round beads. I chose pearls. We're going to do one at a time. I'm going to take your piece of structural wire, one of your bobby pins, and we're going to fix this to the end of this. So I'm going to thread my structural wire through the loop end of the bobby pin. Then I'm gonna take the short end and the long end, bring them together. You're gonna to twist it until it's secure, but you don't wanna twist it so much that you create this great long stem. So once it's secured, you're gonna use your wire cutters to trim off the excess short piece of wire. In order to start, it's a little bit fussy at first, but you wanna choose a bead, thread it onto your wire. This is where the needle nose pliers help too is to just grab the end of your wire, squeeze tightly, and pull your bead all the way down. So you want to arrange your pearl so that it's sitting right at the loop end of your bobby pin. So now we're gonna squeeze the pin and the pearl to keep them in place where we've set it, and we're gonna bring our wire through the center of the pin and pull, and bring the wire back straight up again. Now we're gonna do the same thing, set your pearl where you want it to be next to the one before it, Bring your wire through the center and just pull. Pull it firm and bring the wire straight up again. So once you've added on all your beads, the number of beads will depend on the length of your pin and the size of your beads. I have six on mine. So we've got to the end here and now to secure the wire and the beads, we're going to just wrap around the pin. Again, we're gonna just go around one part of it so that we don't secure them together. And just gonna wrap, make sure it's nice and tight. Wrap, wrap, and then cut off the extra wire with your wire cutters. Try and get as close as you can. If you have a little sharp bit sticking up from where you cut, use your needle nose pliers to just tuck that little bit right in so it doesn't grab at your hair or at your scalp. Once you've finished your hairpin, you can go on to your second one, repeat all the exact same steps, and then you'll end up with this lovely little set of hairpins. Subscribe if you like vintage things that aren't actually vintage. Subscribe if you love pearls. Subscribe if you love hair accessories. Subscribe now if you love making fabulous DIY projects.